Welcome to STEM Time with the Houston Public Library. I'm Miss Crystal, and today we are going to make a robo wheel. This is a really cool project for children between the ages of about uh, 9 and 12. And it's a wonderful example of showing potential energy and kinetic energy, which we will talk about some more. So, let's begin. Here are the supplies you will need for this project. You will need two sturdy paper plates, two rubber bands, three feet of string, a thumbtack, tape, I'm using duct tape, and a sharp pencil. So the first thing we want to do is take our two paper plates and we're going to stack them together so that they're facing each other. Now I'm going to put the rubber bands around them to create like a plus sign or you can think of it as trying to divide the pizza into four even pieces before you cut it. So I need to check both sides. So that looks pretty even, four pieces, four pieces. Now we're going to take our pencil and we're going to put a small mark on one side of our rubber bands going across, um, no more than a half inch apart. So I'm going to make a little mark we want them to be pretty close together, like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. All right, now I can take off my rubber bands. So where I have made the little pencil marks, that's where I'm gonna use my thumbtack to poke a hole. And this will keep the hole from being too big to begin with. And then I'll do the same thing on this one. So watch out for your fingers. Now, those holes are pretty small. So in order to make them wide enough for our string to fit through, that's where our pencil comes in. If you twist your pencil down in it like a small drill, just past where the pencil lead is, it get, makes your hole a little bit bigger and just about the size we need it. So this is just going to help me widen that a little bit. So there's my two holes on that one. And I'll do the same thing on this paper plate. Drill down, make it a little deeper, wider. Alright, so now I have both my paper plates have matching holes. Now I'm going to take my string. And I made mine like a shoelace so it was easier to work with. I take just a little bit of masking tape on the end. And I'm going to tie a knot in the end. Just so I don't accidentally pull it all the way through. Which I tend to do. Alright, that will just kind of help make sure maybe I don't lose it. So taking the end that I fixed like a shoestring. I'm going to go through on the back of one plate, not all the way. Then I'm going to take the other plate and go from the top. Okay, so I've got them together now. Now I'm going to go back the other way. So I'm going from the back side of this one. Okay. And now I will thread it through the other side on the inside of this one. Okay. There we go. So I have my two plates. Now I'm just going to put a knot in the end of my string. Okay. Be sure it's on the end not close to the plates. Alright. 
So we will ultimately have about half the string on each side. All right, and we're almost there. Now, this is the tricky part. I need to be sure my holes are going the same direction on both sides. So I'm going to have them side by side, and this one side by side, and match them up because now we're going to tape it closed. And that's real important that they match up for it, the wheel to work correctly. Okay? So now I'm going to secure my, my plates together for the wheel on four sides. So my duct tape is about two inches long. So I'm going to do that side, and then I'm going to do the opposite side. And secure that down and then it will make it much easier to do the two sides that are left and the last side now one thing you can do that really makes these even more fun you can add some color to it and decorate it like I did on this one now let's actually see our robo wheel in motion. So we talked about how this would show potential energy and kinetic energy. So potential energy is energy that is stored in an object. So let's store up some potential energy on our robo wheel. Put your thumbs on the string at both ends with the wheel as much in the middle as you can. This works similar to a yo-yo. But to start off with, try to twist the string so that it's pretty tight. All right? So, I have potential energy stored up. Once I pull my string apart, and then I let it wrap around itself again, that potential energy becomes kinetic energy because now the energy is creating motion. Now, not only have you demonstrated potential energy and kinetic energy, but now you actually have a wheel that you can race and shoot off of ramps and do creative things with. So, as I spin it, I'm going to show you how fast a robo wheel can go. It's going backwards, and as soon as it's ready to reverse, I'm going to have my robo wheel come to you. <laughs> there we go. You just made a robo wheel. So have a great time. Thank you so much for joining us for STEM time with the Houston Public Library. We'll see you next time.